All right, guys, time to critique your work. First artist up is Chris. Joe, how did Chris do in terms of translating your work onto the skin? He was incredible. So for that, I, ho I hope he's a winner. I like this tattoo because the use of color really looks like a watercolor field. Amazing design. Love what you did. Wow. You never hear that on Chris Yay! Nunez. <laughs> <laughs> Next artist up is Tyler. What do you think? Does this look like your art? Yes, it is. And I really love the storm to the rainbow coming down. I think that the colors you used in here are really strong and really nice. This is kind of cool. Tattoos like this are so amazing because it's just as much about the meaning as it is about the art. I think it's priceless. Next artist up is Eric. How many different drawings did y'all work from to get this drawing to come down? I had her draw a couple for me. We kind of pieced them together to collaborate. It looks like it came together well as a good composition. Uji, her guardian angel, was our 11-year-old Akita that we just had to put down a couple of weeks ago. You know what I like? That you took something sad in your life and you made something beautiful out of it. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Next up is Duffy. How was it working with Duffy? I love it. Were you looking over her shoulder the whole time to make sure she didn't screw it up? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> well, I think it came out very strong. It's a very fun, playful tattoo. Obviously, the teamwork came out strong because everybody's happy, so good job. Next artist up is Matt. So, Marissa, how was it working with Matt? Working with Matt is wonderful. I would love his art a lot. Did you coach her in any way? I showed her a new way to drop the treasure chest so that it had a little bit more of the three-dimensional look to it. Nice. Other than that, she really took it from there. Everything looks beautiful. The design's beautiful. What Matt taught you, you can start using that moving forward in your art direction. You did really great work. Next up is Cruzman. Stephanie, I understand that you're an artist in your own right. You've had some shows. She did a whole bunch of sketches of the most amazing Picasso-esque style artwork. You show off a lot of natural skills that people try to emulate all the time. It does have that Picasso-esque feel to it. Cruzman, this has got to be a, a one for the books, right? It's a emotional day, and I'm stoked to be here. Craig and Jay. So Jay, when you picked your skull and you saw Craig was your artist, you seemed very happy about that. My friend, my guy. He's my your guy? guy. <laughs> Did you tell Craig you wanted bright colors? It's a really bright tattoo. I think it stands out. I love the little details in the faces and the fingers. I think it's very cool. Good job. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Your canvases today all want a world-renowned painting permanently tattooed on their skin. From Starry Night, to the birth of Venus, to the Scream, these paintings are some of the most recognizable in the world.